I and uh, today we will discuss uh, Delta TBP ES3 PLC uh, feature and uh, show the MOBUS TCP data exchange function. So at the beginning, we will check the TBP ES2, ES3, and uh, AS PLC uh, feature comparison. So you can find for the ES2 PLC, we can use both uh, WPO SOP and ISP SOP, but uh, ES2 and uh, AS PLC will use ISP and you can find the built-in interface okay let's uh, have a look here so like this is ES3 so we will have a built-in RJ45 port and uh, basically uh, for ES2 series we will have a built-in IS2 uh, one IS2 32 and IS485 with two ports like here we have a uh, two IS485 but for the ES2 can open type, you can find here we have only uh, between one eyes for 85 and another voice for can open. So we have a look here. For ES3, we will have uh, two eyes for 85 and one uh, can open. Uh, besides, we will have a uh, USB over here. And for ASPOC, ASPOC, we will also have a uh, USB IS485 2 and viewing can open this one is for AS200 and uh, with RJ45 1. Then here you can find uh, if we want to change uh, PLC type to ES3 or AS or PLC, you can find uh, for DVB ES2 definitely cannot. But for this one, ES3, we can convert to AS200 or 300 and for AS, we can also convert uh, to ES3. And regarding the module uh, compatible compatibility with ES2, you can see this is uh, for ES, both ES2 and ES3 is uh, workable, but for ASS cannot. And for the Ethernet IP, this one uh, ES2 Ethernet type, uh, one can work as uh, adapter, and both uh, ES3 and uh, AS can work as a uh, scanner and adapter. Okay, so let's uh, switch to software first so here you will find or we can change uh, select uh, change poz type you can find this one uh es3 we can convert to as 200 or 300 so let's uh basically because uh es3 and uh, as poz we use the same uh mcu okay so here you can find this a uh, profile of uh, es3 poc we build in the uh, RZ45 Ethernet port and mini, mini USB for uh, programming and for the uh, OBUS uh, IS485 and can open. And we can use the module from ES2. Okay, and later we'll uh, show the system architecture of uh, uh, MOBUS uh, TCP data exchange. So here we will assign a uh, Delta AS200 uh, uh, IP address is uh, 0 0.1.5 and BBP ES3, the IP address would be 192.167.1.20. So we can uh, do the data exchange inside the hardware config. So first step, we double click the hardware config. So we'll pump up uh, this one and we can click the setting and go to data exchange uh, over Ethernet and we select enable and then we can do some uh, setting over here. Then we uh, remember to assign the uh, address. Okay, the address is uh, 0.5 because we want to get the data from S200. Okay, so now let's go to go back to software again. And before that, uh, remember to uh, use a, a car manager. And then uh, select the communication with our Ethernet and select the Ethernet card and we can do search or manual add-on. Okay, sorry. So let's uh, search again. We will find uh, we have uh, two devices on the uh, network. 0.5 is uh, S200 and 0.20 is uh, ES3. Okay, so 
let's go over here communication setting so here you can find the communication setting we select this on that and we assign the IP as address 20 then let's go over here and check uh, the POC is uh, ES3 after that uh, go to how will config double click okay so when we pop out uh, this one then we can go to setting and remember uh, let's go to here first uh, because the IP we already assigned uh, 20 so remember to modify here to 20 otherwise uh, when you download a program it becomes uh, 0.5 that means uh, two POC will use the same IP address means you will have a uh, IP conflict okay. After that, uh, let's go here and we select uh, always enable and select add-on This we uh, select enable and change the IP address to 1.1.5 and we can assign here stop from 100 and for the below right we write uh, 1000 and here we can add uh, 100 word okay so after this we can uh, download the setting So when download finish, let's uh, go to program and we just open a POU and write the testing input and output and after that we can create the device monitor table. Uh, if you still remember, we will use uh, D100 or uh, 100 words. And another one, uh, we create another monitor table that will be uh, D1000 and also 100 units. So after that, uh, let's download the program. Uh, switch to ASPOC and remember here we also create another program testing another testing program over here we can write the exact same and remember we have to go to uh, here and select a uh, IP okay then we can check the system status is connect to AS200 after that uh, we can add on also to uh, monitor table uh, D100 100 unit and then another table monitor table start from D1100 unit Okay, so later we can switch online and we can change the value over here. Uh, here you may find why we can we try to write the value by it uh, always uh, become zero so maybe we do some wrong settings so let's go back here and check the setting again so let's go over here and check oh so you can find here we do the wrong setting the reply will always uh, assign to uh, same address so now we change it to 1000 and download the setting again
Okay, so let's go back. Here is the RH POC, then we modify the value again. So now it works. Okay, we set a 1, 2, and let's go to the 199 and set a 100. Okay, so later we switch to ES3 and also go online. So you can find the value uh, here, I'll change to 1, 2, and let's check uh, 199, you become 100. So if you already forgot, let's switch back here again. So here we will write the value from uh, E1000 of ES3 to uh, S200 E1000. Okay, so now it's ES3. And we will change the value E1000. Then we set a one to four, and let's go to the final one or nine nine. Let's check a uh, one thousand over here. Then we go back to S. 200 so you can find here 1000 and the value in D1000 is uh, 123 and 124 so uh, that's all for uh, mobile TCP application so uh, one more thing I want to emphasize is over here uh, okay let's switch here so you can find uh, for AS, uh, uh, sorry, ES3 POC, you can find a hardware config over here, but for most of uh, DVP series POC, because it's uh, uh, all uh, designed, so you cannot find a hardware config over here. And besides, you can do the AIO wizard and can open or EIP builder setting in a uh, hardware config. But uh, this one is not available uh, in uh, uh, ES2 or other DVP series. Okay, and one more thing just uh, want to show you again here. Uh, remember, uh, because uh, ES3 shares M uh, CPU with uh, MCU with uh, S200, S300 series. So this one, we cannot uh, migrate uh, ES2 program to ES3. Okay, so that's all. Okay, thank you.